Hi everyone, this is my six week pregnancy vlog. Yesterday I turned seven weeks. Um, and I recorded some videos yesterday. First one didn't record and the second one was about 30 minutes long. So I'm going to try and be much shorter. Um, so anyway, uh, seven weeks, one day today. And today is Saturday the 28th of May. So, um, this week, two days ago, so on Thursday, I had my first doctor's appointment, and it was with um, the nurse. Um, just medical history information. She gave me a bunch of pamphlets of just, um, like, the infant screening test and then optional tests that we can do if we want for um, Down syndrome and just other um, issues the baby may have. So, um, and then other kind of, like, prenatal stuff in our area. Um, but what was really cool was that when I was asking her some of my questions, she didn't know the answer, and the doctor happened to be in, because normally in the morning, he, um, is at the hospital delivering babies, so he had already delivered two that morning, and, um, some of his other patients were, you know, in labor, but he, his office is right next to the hospital, so he was able just to come back and do some paperwork, so he was able to come in our room for like 30 minutes and answer all my questions, which was really awesome because um, I've been really debating um, where to deliver because there's only one hospital in our city and, um, well, our town is small, um, and everyone delivers there, obviously. But there's another hospital 35 miles, miles south um, where everyone I know has delivered, like all my friends and stuff. So um, I was really debating which one to do, and I have to find out now because if I deliver 35 miles south, I have to have a doctor down there. Um, so I would have to switch, like, as soon as possible. Um, so I've been really stressed out about this decision because um, I've just been talking to everyone I know and um, just have, like, been weighing the pros and cons, and talking to my doctor really, really helped because I don't really know anyone who's delivered up here, so he's able to give me a good... Um, just information about the hospital, what the environment's like, because um, everyone delivered south of here because they said that it was a lot more natural, you weren't pressured to do, um, like an epidural or just whatever, you weren't, there wasn't pressure, they just wanted you to do it naturally, and they weren't rushing you into anything, um, which what, I, I just really wanted that, and they said that they were able to follow what their body wanted, they have birthing tubs if you want to do that, and just, um, just a full, just, way to, to do whatever you want basically um so i was thinking if that place is like that then the place up here must be like you're strapped to your bed and that's it so he answered all my questions which is awesome and he wasn't trying to persuade me any any way um which i really like i hate when someone tries to convince me to do something um so yeah i think we're going to deliver up here just because i can stay with my doctor because i really like him and i really like his whole office. I've been going there for the last few years, and they're all just wonderful. And you, I just feel so free to, answer, to ask any questions that I have, and they ne never make you feel stupid for asking any questions. And I ask a lot of questions. So um, that's really great. And then also the one up here has a NICU, as the one south of us doesn't. Um, so that would also be, you know, like, God forbid something happens. Like, I'd hate for my baby to be flown to another town that I'm not even in. So anyway, I think we're delivering up here, but it was really great just to talk to him. And then another kind of like crazy thing, you know, goes along with the whole I feel free to tell him anything. Um, I, for some reason, really think that I'm having twins. Um, twins don't run in my family. I mean, they're on my husband's side they do, but as far as I know, it has to go through the woman's side. Um, but like I'd always thought when I was younger, oh, twins would be really cool. Um, but I really hadn't thought about anything further than that because I'm like, I wasn't on fertility, I wasn't on Clomid, I wasn't on anything like that, um, and they don't run in my family, so I just assumed that, you know, 99% chance that I wouldn't have them, but since I got pregnant, like, I've been thinking about them a lot, like, whenever I think about the nursery, I visualize two cribs, um, and, like, when we were thinking about telling the family, I just kept envisioning telling them about twins, um, so I don't know, maybe crazy or call it intuition, I don't know. So I um, asked him about it, and he said that he can do a ultrasound, like, right then and there, but he also warned me, since it was so early, that I may not see anything. So he's like, I don't want to freak you out. So you knowing yourself, you, you want to get it and be freaked out if you don't see anything, or just it going to make you feel more comfortable just trying. 
So I just said, I'd much rather wait than see nothing in there. So, um, so yeah, we'll see. I'm excited about that. Um, but yeah, so that was my appointment. Um, it's about like an hour, hour and 20 minutes or so, because I just talked a lot. Um, but it was really good. And my husband was there. He could meet my doctor and some of the nurses. Um, and he really liked him too. So that's important. Um, besides that, new symptoms for this week. Um, this week, this week has changed a lot. Like since the first day of this week, like starting Friday, because I switch on Fridays. Um, that first day, like I was dead tired. And, you know, I had been normal, you know, tiredness, I guess. But just I was more tired at the beginning of the night and then I'd wake up earlier in the morning. But I think it was just like I was requiring the same amount of sleep that I normally do. It was just kind of a different pattern. Um, but now, like, I'm exhausted all the time. This whole week I've been taking naps and just wanting to sleep in and all day have been so tired. Um, so that's new. Um, let's see. Oh, super moody. Like, really, really moody. And just, like, really touchy. Like, kind of, like, emotional, but, like, my husband and I always tease each other, and um, that's just kind of like our friendly banter that we do, and I'm just like super sensitive to it, and um, so I really feel bad for him, because I've just been really moody this week. Um, so yeah, moodiness, tiredness, and um, nothing sounds good to eat, like I'm getting hungry, like when I get hungry I get starving, and I can't eat that much, but I'll be starving. Um, and nothing sounds good, which is so frustrating, and that goes along with me being in a bad mood. I think it intensifies it because I'll get so hungry, and like nothing sounds good. It got to the point where my husband's just like, anything in the world, think about anything in the world, what would you want to eat? And nothing sounds good to me, and if I just force myself to eat something because I'm starving and I know I need to eat, it's just gross, and I feel really gross after it, even though I really normally like the food. Um... I don't like it. So that's kind of frustrating, but hey, if these are the only symptoms I have, then I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so yeah, and then I kind of have like a little bit of acid reflux, which I've been told is really normal for pregnancy, though not this early, um, but it is normal. So I kind of have that, you know, I kind of explained last week the like burping up throw up, so that's all on that. And then I also mentioned in the, my last video that we were going to wait until our families on Father's Day. But that wasn't going to work. And my husband and I um, just got so frustrated and not being able to tell people. And I just talked to my family so much. And um, I just stopped calling them because I didn't want it to slip. And I just didn't know what to say. So we finally told everyone, which was really great. They don't live near here. So we did Skype and phone calls and stuff like that. Um, which everyone's really excited, so it's good because now it's more exciting because you could share it with everyone. So, and then people call and are excited for you and write stuff on your Facebook and are excited for you. So, um, that brought a whole new uh, level of realism to it, though it still doesn't feel real.